Hey guys, and welcome to another Game Explained discussion. I'm your host, Andre Seekers, and this time we're joined by Derek Bittner and Chris Niosi to discuss a leak from Amazon.com that announced a couple of new game modes today. So let's get started. Alright guys, so this is pretty unexpected. Although at this point, almost all the leaks are kind of ex expected at this point, you know, uh, being so close to release. So Amazon just updated their uh, their game profile for Smash Bros. Wii U. And you know, most of it is a, you know, generic filler talking about the game and, you know, adding amiibos and all that stuff. But they announced a couple new things that I don't think are supposed to be announced yet. Specifically, they meant, I'll just read the description. They say, whether you're creating stages on the gamepad, competing in challenges crafted by Master Hand and Crazy Hand, or outwitting your opponents in a brand new board game, there's no doubt that the Ultima Smash Brothers game has arrived. Um, and I like the choice of words there. There's no doubt that the Ultima Smash Brothers game has arrived. But Sakurai just mentioned something recently about how we're going to show you the full potential of Smash um, with the Wii U version. So, this is awesome. <laughs> this is all very <laughs> awesome sounding. Uh, so, yeah, I guess let's just start off with the guys' uh, you know, knee-jerk compressions to this. I woke up this morning and saw this. I'm like, oh, crap, time for another discussion because this is pretty major. Uh, I mean, we got confirmation with this. Well, not confirmation. We got a better idea of what the whole Master Hand, Crazy Hand thing does. And then we have this whole board game mode that apparently is not related to Master Hand, Crazy Hand, which is kind of what me and Ash were talking about before as far as like what it could be. It's some great stuff. Um, I'm sure a lot of people are excited that Stage Creator is back. Um, it's just some really exciting modes. Just kind of funny that we found out through Amazon more than anything else. We've got a, we've got a nice best of both worlds scenario here with a lot of uh, improved versions of things from uh, Melee and Brawl uh, for sure. With um, I, I was completely like when I saw the Master and Crazy Orders stuff and the Special Orders clip uh, from those leaked videos and everything, uh, I, I was like, I literally have no idea what that could possibly be. Mm -hmm. But then I realized, oh, it sounds like it could be the Wii U's equivalent of what the uh, challenge wall was for the 3DS version as, as well as Brawl, um, which is some more specific kind of things. But uh, I don't know, I, I, I'm always really impressed and intrigued by like a lot of the stuff that Sora comes up with, um, all the Sakurai's team and everything. And um, I am so down for a board game mode, <laughs> right? I mean, this is what we're talking about in our yeah, Master Hand and Crazy Hand discussion. It makes I think it makes a ton of sense, particularly if they use you know the trophies or your characters as trophies. I'm guessing those would be the game pieces, yeah. and it just makes so much sense for that for that to be incorporated into the gameplay. And I could see that being awesome. Now, granted, I don't know what kind of board game this would be. Like, I think a strategic type, as we mentioned before, would be really neat. But maybe it'll be something silly or like Mario Party or something. That'd still be really cool to have like a Mario Party thing where each, yeah. like after each round you have a different type of challenge that you must complete with, and you know, you, as you go around the board game, you have different, um, you know, additions or subtractions to your fighter. Like, okay, now he can't do this move, or you know, these moves are locked for this player, or so, there's something that effect or changing up how it does. There is a way that you can make a Mario Party game with the Smash controls and still make it all really just work. Oh yeah, I wasn't being uh, disparaging there. I think that would be, uh, that actually would be also a really cool mode. Like basically Mario Party, but instead of having mini games, you have Smash Battles. And I think mm -hmm. in that context, like minute long matches would work far better here than they did in the Smash run. For sure, yeah. I, th I think, uh, and plus, you know, you, you were saying, well, instead of mini games, but I mean, there are mini games, you know, they could toss in like the stadium stuff, they could toss in some of the things carried over maybe from Smash Run with like, uh, you know, target, uh, the, like the targets and survive and, you know, having some of the enemies in there and things like that. And maybe even have, uh, you know, some melee adventure mode style, like mini platforming uh, kind of stuff could certainly be interesting too. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I, I wonder, um, yeah, actually, I, I guess kind of on that subject, I'm wondering like maybe if, if some elements of Smash Run will kind of cross over into this in a, in a different sort of way, or if this will be entirely its own thing. But um, if anybody out there listening uh, played any uh, DBZ games back in the day, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2 for the PS2 had a board game mode, and everybody just used to take a giant piss on that, but I mean, that was like my favorite thing about that game, and I, and I, I like just having that integrated into a Smash Brothers setup I think would be a great replacement for an adventure mode in this case and a really unique spin on that for sure yeah uh i i i, I do agree like that could be this uh this game's new you know primary match run mode basically it's it's version of it um and i think that would just be a lot more interesting than than probably anything we've seen before really <laughs> uh, in terms of single i mean great it, it depends on how it comes together but i just love the idea of there being a board game here especially if it's 
you know, if you can play it both, you know, either single player or multiplayer. Although I guess in that case, now that I think about it, um, you know, Mario Party is just horrible single player wise. So <laughs> I'm wondering if that might be the case here too, where this will be a more multiplayer focused event. Um, a single player is more, you know, kind of a waste of time. It could be, because we were talking before when we were talking about the whole Master Hand Crazy Hand thing is we noticed that that wasn't the replacement for where the Smash Run would be in the Wii U menu. This board game could be this thing that takes over the Smash Run slot. Right. So, and Smash Run is, yeah, you can play a single player, but it's obviously better if you have friends, even though it doesn't really affect it that much. Um, but, yeah, I, I think that's... I think we have found our replacement for Smash Run in the main menu. I guess also uh, worth talking about is um, I, I feel like I remember one of the leaks mentioned that there would be a new stage builder uh, for this game. And um, they were saying that it might have even been on that, that one that had like the like lots of stages on it or whatever, like, like, the, like the 50 stages or whatever it was. Um, I think they mentioned something about how this one would be like much more customizable compared to the uh, the brawl one. God, I would um, hope so. <laughs> yeah, I mean yeah, the the brawl, the brawl one was like it was it was amusing and fun for what it was, but uh, I think if if they give you more control to like make something that like is a bit more functional, I guess, for making cool stages, that could be really interesting. Yeah. Um, well, the problem for me with the, the brawl one, I mean, it, it was limited, but you could do some cool things still, but they always just look so boring because you're using a bunch of generic pieces. So yeah. I think just adding, like, having themes or allowing you to choose a background or using existing assets you know, from other stages would, would really enhance that experience. Yeah, no, it totally would. Um, and it, it, I think we... Just to mention the fact that it uses the gamepad to create the stages, that screams to me they're improving the functionality you know, that much more. Because we saw how easy it was with Mii Maker at E3. Or not Mii Maker, but uh, Mar- Mario, Mario Maker. Maker. Yeah, yeah. Right. To, to craft the levels. I mean, we popped up those things in you know less than five minutes, and they were fine. They were fun. They, it was easy to do, but you could also take that time to refine it and make it better. And if they give us the assets, like you were saying, Andre, we could actually look at a, a stage builder that is a lot more addicting than the original one from Brawl. So something something that just hit me, by the way, so, something that I, I learned from uh, some game design people that I've talked to before is that in a lot of cases, especially with games like this, uh, User created content is is often sometimes something that goes a little wasted because it's like it's not something that, that players put a lot of value in. But I, I gotta say, like like for for that being like like just between the stages and and also the me makers and the general customization and everything, I'm I'm really like pleasantly surprised at like how well it worked out because y- you wouldn't think for Smash Brothers something like that or like a, like a fighting game in general, even if this is more of a party style game. You wouldn't think that that sort of uh, thing would apply very well to it, but it's like, you know, the Mii Fighters are, are a ton of fun to do. Uh, the customization I love, and I, and I, and I, it, it, I felt was one of the most brilliant additions to it. And, um, you know, yeah, it's, certainly we have a, a better stage builder in general compared to Brawl. I think that uh, the, the, you know, user-created content for this could be really, really, like, a major selling point unexpectedly for this. Yeah, I mean, that, that that's a good point, because Nintendo finally has a means in which to, you know, share this stuff through Miiverse. And uh, this actually touches on something we were talking about last night in the uh, Smash Brothers uh, weekly discussion, where they showed off the, the photo studio mode, and how none of us remembered it. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> it, is, it was in Brawl. And I think part of that was because there was nothing you could do with those pictures back in the day. Yeah, but yeah, here, being able to share, you know, share those pictures now with Miiverse just adds so much more, and having other features built on top of that, you know, like creating stages or whatever else, we'll, we'll make it a potentially awesome feature. Oh, yeah. The, the, the level of customization we're seeing here is just an impressive step up, as Chris was saying. I mean, we got you can you know, change up your Miis, you can change up your the regular fighters. You got the Amiibos now that, like, custom make your own fighter, really. Uh, and then, of course, we got the new the announcement of the stage creator, and... It just seems like they want to take every aspect of this game and make it so the players can affect it in some way, but still be able to enjoy the base game, and that's that's to be commended. It's it's really exciting. Yeah, so I'm I'm also curious about the uh, the master hand and crazy hand stuff uh, because you know Chris mentioned they might be a replacement for the challenges, and you know, they do mention um, competing in challenges crafted by master hand and crazy hand, so that's definitely possible. But if you look at the uh, 
the 3DS menu, uh, or sorry, the Wii U menu on the 3DS screen. There's a purple icon there, which I think could be their uh, their challenge mode in that game. So I'm instead wondering if this is a replacement for like event matches. Like what if these are, yeah, you know, in addition, or maybe in addition to, but I'm wondering if it might be something more along those lines. And it's basically a difficulty select with Master Hand and Crazy Hand. My, my assumption is, is also n not just difficulty, but say like Master Hand is something like really, really elite. Like, like you'd have to like, you know, do s stuff that would be uh, like a, like a 9.0 or maybe higher difficulty level. Like you'd have to really be a proficient player. And then like Crazy Hand would be just something like, completely asinine and ridiculous <laughs> and like you know because there, there are so many like weird crazy things that they can do with um with the engine and stuff so i'd imagine like a lot of those would be um you know just like crazy themed in a way and then special orders i don't know if maybe that would be kind of like the starting point or maybe like the harder one than both master and crazy hand. Mm -hmm. I, I think that that file came before master and crazy hand so maybe the, uh, the the master and crazy orders so maybe that's what you start off with with just like the regular sort of event stuff and uh, or, or the uh, the ch I, sh I should say uh, challenges because event match was a separate thing in and of itself, mm -hmm. but um, yeah maybe something a, l a little more standard and then when you complete all those then you unlock the master and crazy orders or something. Mm -hmm. That is that is true because event match was listed in the um, in the uh, in the files um, along with you know special orders, crazy orders, master orders, all that. So I guess the entire thing would be labeled as event match. And then you would go into this when you'd have, uh, you know, master orders, crazy orders. It's kind of funny that you thought the master hand uh, side of things would be the more challenging and elite thighs. I thought that I took that as being more basic and normal type of stuff, with crazy hand being the much more difficult challenges that you'll you know, have to encounter. Because if I'm not wrong, I believe crazy hand's always been listed as the more difficult of the two hands to deal with. Well, he only shows up yeah on the higher difficulties too. True. I, I guess I'm more kind of thinking about like um, in, in terms of the theming of what they could both represent, since they're both available next to each other. Mm -hmm. The other thing too I, I should mention is because um, kind of the way the formatting of these clips are played and everything. Um, the uh, I don't think that the event match clip would be when you access that menu because th those clips happen when you pick an option and then you go to the character select screen. Right. Mm -hmm. So. So event match probably wouldn't be like a section that would have all the orders in it. I think that that's a whole separate thing in and of itself, um, hmm. because that would be when you select and then you go to the character screen and then it, then it would say event match, right? Also to sort of add on to uh, some of the stuff that you guys I'm sure probably already talked about, but tying it into this new stuff. Um, so the eight player smash, um, you know, I'm sure you guys probably came to the conclusion of that's got to be a, a, a Wii U exclusive thing to be able to stand having that many characters on screen right. at the same time mm -hmm. um but uh <laughs> I, I that's something that i think is really exciting because we've never had that in any previous game before and the possibilities of that is is just absolutely like it, it, it could be insane and amazing and <laughs> and fun as hell and, and i think also uh because this and, and, the, and the yellow team clip i think weigh in this could be something that also factors into um, the uh, the Smash World board game thing, um, if that's what Smash World is. I'm assuming that's what it oh, is. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so like, like for instance, say if you had like a Mario Party style like setup, but say like you had um, you know a piece that represented two players, and that was the red team. You know, so you could have four teams with two players each, and then maybe like you know a particular event or thing that could happen in that feasibly would be an a player battle uh and the wii u version you know because just the system is is inherently more powerful to uh, powerful enough to be able to have all of those things on screen at once mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. like that could can you can you imagine if ice, i don't we still don't know for sure if ice clambers is in there <laughs> or not but can you imagine having how many ice clambers would that be 16, 16, yeah. 16 on yeah. screen at once <laughs> that Jesus. would be it'd be the mario kart double dash of smash brothers <laughs> in, in, insanity <laughs> Um, that, you know, that's actually a really interesting idea. No, I think the 8-player Smash would be awesome, as we mentioned before, and it actually would give a reason as to why Palutena's Temple is so huge. That's right, and maybe even Gower Plains is, uh, is bigger compared to the 3DS version of it as well. Right, that could be. Um, mm -hmm. the, oh, the, the Fire Emblem Arena Ferox was, was, oh, no, no, I, I think it was different compared to the 3DS version, but it's still pretty massive. It's like, yeah, that would, that would definitely explain why those are so huge, for sure. 
But conversely though, you brought up another point with the board game, and now I'm wondering if maybe it could just be for the board game, where you can't have eight people, you know, participate if you have the amount of controllers necessary, but perhaps the modes will still be limited to just four player. Or, you know, the, the matches within will still just be limited to four player. But the board game itself would be eight. Well, we have to think specifically about how, you know, these clips would be played. You know what I mean? Because it's like every single one of them has a particular place where they would they would trigger and you would hear them, right? Um, you know, so so like uh, just to kind of look at the other ones, we have like. Amiibo, ticket selection, uh, world tourney, or, or official tourney, or whatever, you know. Those are all things that, like, you access a particular section and then it comes up, right? So, eight-player mm -hmm. Smash, that by itself, like, that would have to be in, in one of two scenarios. Either it, it's a mode in and of itself, which is pretty likely, uh, and or it could be, say, if, um, you know, an event is triggered in uh, Smash World the way that, like, you know, versus so-and-so or whatever, like in classic mode or, or whatever, or final battle in Smash Run, uh, it, it could be tossed in there somewhere. Um, but, uh, but since we don't have other things listed, it's hard to maybe determine that. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's funny, like, with, with this evidence, you can sort of do some detective work, and like, okay, well, how, like, like, just kind of logically thinking based on how the game is set up, it's like, where would this go, where would this play, how would this, you know, feasibly come in or whatever, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it, you're completely right. You got if you can think about it logically, you can sort of place all these. And I think you're really heading down the right path there, Chris. I mean, this is uh, you know all very potential. It's just it, the question I have is why are those clips in the 3DS version? Is just crossover stuff that they wanted to put in, but they just didn't have the time? Or like, <clears throat> I mean, we all have the assumption that all these modes are meant for the Wii U version. And I don't think any of us really expects them to unlock on the 3DS version, like, once they do, like, you know, communication between each other. If it is possible, then, wow. But, uh, yeah, I just, I, I'm not quite sure how that fits into the 3DS version at all, but just looking at the Wii U version by itself, uh, this is a game that's looking, I think the Amazon thing listing has it right, this is looking like the ultimate Smash Brothers game. I mean, there's so much to hear, and, you know... There was a ton of content in the 3DS version, as Andre will attest to. Kind of uh, jumping off your point, Derek, uh, by the way, it, it's it's funny to kind of think about, like, the nuts and bolts of this, because, say, like, you know, dating all the way back to Melee, I mean, I, can I be presumptuous and assume that when you guys hear in the sound test, you hear clips of Giga Bowser fighting wireframes and Master Hand, you think as a 12-year-old, oh my god, maybe they're playable, maybe they're unlockable, but the reality <laughs> is... Stuff like that sometimes is recorded, and whether or not they use it is, you know, it, it, it's it's up for determination on what they end up doing with the content of the game. Mm -hmm. um, like, I would bet, good money, for instance, maybe there is a clip of Master Core in the game that wasn't used just because it's like, alright, well, you wouldn't go into the battle with Master Hand and Crazy Hand because... You know, we, we, like knowing Master Hand's going to show up, so they just have it to be Master versus Master Hand and Crazy Hand, and then Master Core shows up. So it's cases like that where it's like, all right, well, so we'll just not use that clip. Now that said, these clips are all in the data of the game, uh, and we don't know a hundred percent how the connectivity between the two versions is going to go. We do know that the 3DS stuff is going to be able to be transferred into the Wii U version in terms of like your customizable characters and Miis and things like that for sure. But as far as what how the Wii U version will impact um, the, uh, the the 3DS version, minus like characters and stages, which that we've you know we've talked about extensively already. As far as the features and game modes, I wonder about you know will anything unlock. You know, will will you get additional things that you couldn't already do on your version? I, I don't know. It, it I, I don't know what would be possible between the two systems, um, mainly because of their you know major difference in processing power. But uh, yeah, it, it certainly uh, that that's that lends itself to more to more mystery, and I think that could be that could be really cool as well. So, do you guys have any final thoughts or anything you want to touch on that we haven't mentioned yet about this? No, not really. Just it makes it even more excited. It's interesting that again, that it was Amazon that leaked all of this. We're used to we're kind of used to leakers being just on message boards and stuff like this. Not like anything this official. <laughs> uh, my final thoughts is uh, I just want to play that game board game. <laughs> <laughs> give, right? Give me. I, I'm really yeah, intrigued. I, I, I just I I, like, I have a hard on for that stuff. I just I, I find it really cool, and I feel like that's kind of with, with the exception of Mario Party, that sort of thing is like kind of lost on stuff so to have that um you know kind of it, it's funny too like how mario kart and mario party like 
you know, these elements of Smash Brothers are kind of bleeding into that with, like, with other Nintendo characters in Mario Kart, having a Mario Party mode, potentially, in Smash Brothers, it's like, <laughs> this is, uh, my, my inner 12-year-old is just, like, losing it right now. <laughs> you know, we've, we've got another uh, roughly a month or so before this, this hits. I'm gonna be in New York when it comes out, so I'm gonna go to Nintendo World and probably get trampled, but it's gonna be the most amazing trampling ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no I, I that's the great thing about the board game and I forgot to mention this before is just that it really can be any board game we have a strategy board game we have a Mario Party style we could have heck it could be as simple as a Candyland style board game where you're just going along a path uh, there's, there's a lot of different options and I'm, I'm very curious to see what form this board game will take Yep, and it probably won't be long before we find out. I mean, at most, to be a month. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess we'll find out before then. All right, well, I think that wraps up our Smash Brothers discussion, guys. So, thanks for watching, um, and thanks for joining us, Chris. Absolutely, yeah. yeah do you want to tell people where they can find you? Sure, at? sure. Uh, if you guys feel like checking out my stuff, I, they'll, maybe they'll have a link or an annotation or something. My YouTube channel is uh, Kerber for 15 and... Uh, I, I produce cartoons and do curb vlogs and things every week and, uh, and other such things. And you know, I guess I'm sort of the unofficial fourth member in a way of the crew now as I've, as I've had more <laughs> guest episodes than anyone else. So yeah. <laughs> you actually have like a tally database tracking every you can, you can just make a whole You can just make a whole playlist of just all the episodes that have me so everybody can just avoid those. <laughs> <you know? laughs> Aww. All right, well, that wraps it up here. For th so thanks for watching, guys, and keep an eye on GamingSplain.com for more on Smash Brothers Wii U and 3DS and other things gaming as well. All right, bye.